Hello and welcome. Each year, in late winter or early spring, we prune our vines. Pruning means we trim away most of the growth from last year so that we can better manage the growth for this year. If we didn't prune these vines, they'd grow wildly, producing lots of shoots and leaves and bunches of tiny grapes that would never ripen or mature. By pruning, we can control the growth and a number of bunches. It's like a haircut for the grapes. This is Vineyard Life. In this video, we'll show how we prune for different training systems, geo and vertical shoot positioning. Training means how we allow the vine to grow on the trellis. We'll show why we've selected a particular training system for a particular grape variety, and towards the end, we'll show you our chambersons that we're converting from one training system to another and discuss why we're doing that. So let's get started. This is a Riesling vine, trained on vertical shoot position. Two trunks grow up from the grafting and spread out to form arms. Along the arms are evenly spaced spurs, and from these, every year, the shoots grow. Since Rieslings grow upward, this is a good system for them. When filled with leaves and shoots, they form a flat curtain that is easy to maintain. Wayward shoots can be tucked behind the catch wire. The curtain-like canopy makes spraying easy and effective. Simple zone nets can be used to protect the fruit. There are a few disadvantages to this system. The tops of the vines will need to be cut a couple times during the growing season. And they're pretty high off the ground. Because the trunk and arms remain in place from year to year, they are susceptible to disease or damage. The grapes may be shaded by leaves above them. Some of these leaves will need to be removed to promote airflow and ripening. Begin pruning, we start at the spurs and remove one of the two shoots that was allowed to grow there last year. We try to keep the shoot that's most upright or closest to the spur. Then we trim that shoot so that it has only two buds or nodes, which will produce two shoots for this year. Here is before and after. Often, we'll start by trimming all the shoots above the first catch wire for an entire row. This makes it easier to see which buds we want to keep, and there's less chance of damaging those buds. For Gio, we still have two trunks coming up from the graft unit, but we don't have any arms or spurs. Instead, two shoots or canes are selected near the top of the trunk for each side of the vine. And then, and this is the hard part, most of last year's fruit bearing area is cut away. Of the two canes remaining on each side, one is selected for renewal for next year and the other is selected for fruit for this year. The one selected for renewal is trimmed to two butts. The cane or shoot selected for fruit is placed along the fruiting wire. The end is cut off at the halfway point between this vine and the next vine. This usually gives us eight to ten buds or nodes on the fruiting wire. If it won't bend easily onto the fruiting wire, we can arc it up onto the first catch wire. This is before pruning and after. So why change a vine's training system? These chambersons 
were originally trained with vertical shoot position, but over the years they've developed spaces on the cordons with no spurs, which means no grapes. Today, the recommended training system for Chamberson is top wire cordon, which means the trunks grow up to about six feet and then the arms spread out from there. The shoots grow down to the ground. It would take two or three years to reestablish those kinds of trunks and arms. We can change these vines to guillot in one season and not lose any grape production. The guillot system results in a less constricted pathway between the roots and the leaves. It's like driving on a smooth road with gentle curves. In vertical shoot positioning and top wire cordon, the path between the roots and leaves has lots of sharp turns. Converting from vertical shoot positioning to guillot requires cutting off the established arms. It's hard to do if you've spent years getting them to grow. You just have to take a breath and snip. The vine will grow back. Two shoots are selected from the tops of the trunks. One for this year's fruit the other for next year's renewal. The shoots for this year's fruit are attached to the wires. Here's a before and after of the conversion. Once the pruning is complete, the vines will get their first spray of the season and they'll be hedged or have their tops trimmed several times during the year. So we're not done cutting yet. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like by hitting the thumbs up button down below this panel. And while you're there, why not subscribe?